Churchill and it looks as if Rutherford is with him. Two left-handers. Yeah, I'm surprised about that. I'm surprised in a way that they've gone two left-handers. Would they not try go left-hander, right-hander just to mix it up a little bit? Maybe they think because they've seen that Sahel Tamvir and they're thinking left-handers coming in that they can hoof him over deep mid-wicket maybe. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised with that. Hales, yes, but in three. So just to remind everybody, it's a super over. If two wickets fall at, at any stage, it's the end of the innings. Obviously, if it's the sixth ball, it's the end of the innings. But if they go wicket, wicket, it's done. Well, Rutherford hit 39 sixes in T20, so he does have the power. Shajil will start off. He'll be facing, finally in the circle, mid-off in the circle. Shajil, a power hitter, and does strike the ball really well now. Sohail Tanvir starts it off, goes wide, hits it straight to the man, Shai the free, he's shy at the stump. Well, it's worth a go because fielders are backing up and remember what I talked about, lose a wicket, they then can't lose another wicket or, the, or it's over. Good start because it's just a single. Direct hit, Alfredi was it? Oh, gone. So it was worth the gamble as long as it didn't hit the stumps and and do uh, Ben Stokes in the world final. Sorry if anybody's listening from New Zealand. Sorry about that. Where does Rutherford go? Well, he tries to smash it straight, surely, or pull him over deep mid-wicket. Hides it outside off, so I'm giving a wide. Oh, what was that? Well, it was a wide this time. That's what it was. Let's have a look at that again. A little bit of swing. <laughs> oh, exactly the same. Anyway, given a wide. Have a look at that, Corky, closely. I'm giving that one a wide. It was a good decision. Remember, it's a left. It's a left armor, so he's not cutting the line like a right armor. Here we go. Anyway, two off one ball. What do you think? 15, 14, 15. Good score. Or even a 10 or 12. So then we'll hide the ball outside off stump. Well, it's hit just to the man at deep cover, just a single. Three of two. It's a dangerous ball to bowl when mid-off is up in the circle. And I understand if they're going to go full and wide, but surely if they're going full and wide, then you want either your third man up or your deep square leg up in the circle. You can see here now, when he's setting his field now, he has long off, you see him, extra, sorry, mid off, extra cover, and backward point and a short fine leg. So for me, he has to bowl straight here or into the surface, maybe even a slower ball, but that's a risk. Straight down the ground. Long on, in play, and gone. Yeah. Adam Lyth again. Safe hands, Adam Lyth. And now, Karachi Kings, what do they do here? They lose their first wicket. Alex Hales will come to the crease. Gets away with this a little bit. It's a bit lengthy. No slower ball, and it's a big boundary here at the National Stadium, Karachi. Seventy-two meters straight, but it's a little bit off balance. And as Shahjil, he goes to one. Karachi three for one. Rutherford gets it over point boundary. One-handed, one-handed that was, but he got it on the full. And that is the danger sometimes when you do go wide and full, and it comes out full toss, a left-hander is just going to slice you through the offside. Why use two hands when you can use one? So seven from the first four deliveries, wicket down. Just to remind everybody at home or wherever you're watching around the world, Lose a wicket here, end of the innings.
Who's favourites from here, mate? Come on. Off the fence. I think we'll decide that after these couple of deliveries. This boundary. And then it's got to be Karachi. And if it's better than a boundary, pump down the ground. Goes all the way. HBL 6, maximum. What a shot. We both thought Rutherford coming in. What is this about? But again, he got away with the length ball to Sargil. It was caught down at long on by Adam Lyth. And this one flies all the way. So from going from a good position, Multan Sultans, let it be in the slot, don't worry. It was always going to be in the slot. They have one ball left. Anything more than two off this ball, the Kings are favourites, surely. Huge delivery. Has to defend the boundary, has to. Does he go wide again? Yorker. And chances on. Has to go Yorker. So he has too many, he's going wide, he's going wide, wide in Yorker. A top edge. And taken. So a dot ball. 13 Karachi got in their super over 14 to win. Who's the favorite now? Multan Sultans. Another super over. Could we see back to back super overs? We need to. Multan Sultans choice. <laughs> but who would have thought Karachi Kings were cruising? And suddenly it's become a super over and suddenly now the opportunity for Multan Sultans to go straight to the final. I just have to correct myself, I got a little bit excited. With the Essex boys? Yes, <laughs> only two of them play for Essex. <laughs> the other one played for a team called Hampshire, not far away though, yeah. just down the M25 and M3 for all you back home listening. But let's, uh, let's see what happens, you're excited because you're seeing a super over, it doesn't normally happen in PSL, only the third time in Five additions. Two men out on the offside. So for me, this is going full and wide, similar to what we've just seen from Sahel Tanvir. The issue is if he bowls length, they're going to try and hit him out of the park. Full and wide. Oh, almost a run out. Just a single. So a good result for Ahmed. Could he have left this? Could he have left this? Was it wide enough to leave? It had been a brave decision to leave it. This could be, would have been out. Would have been out. Could he have left this? No. Perfect delivery. Inside the tram lines. <laughs> 13 now. Karachi now have just gone favourites now with that one ball. That one ball, they've gone favourites. They need a boundary in the next two balls. Four will do. Obviously, six them back as favourites. Right-hander on strike. Does Army now again? Ball wide and full. Yes, two men out on the offside. Look, he's got a deep point, a deep extra cover. He will go wide and across him. Well, he goes length, but Vara doesn't get this. He hits it too long on. Just a single. So two off two. Need a boundary. They need a boundary. Karachi, who were cruising to victory in that chase. And then collapsed. Got themselves to a super over. All of a sudden now, with the Kalanders watching, our favourites to go straight through to the final. Riley Rousseau needs a boundary, needs it this ball. Does he go across his stumps? Beautifully bowled, another Yorker, perfect delivery. Just the three singles now, it's 11 needed. 10 for another super over. Ahmed delivering those Yorkers at will. I don't see a super over. I don't see another one from here. I do not see another super over from here. <laughs> I can call them it from a long way out, but this, no, I don't see no. it. 
No, I don't see it. Who do you see crossing I the line then? I just see... I see Bopara trying to get the ball square on the leg side. Whether he looks to just flick it. Goes wide, goes forward and is a wide! Went for that wide delivery to try and cut the line, similar to how Sahail Tanvir did. Here's a wide. All margins, remember these umpires don't get any of these replays, they just do it straight on, it's hard, it's a hard job. Now what is he doing? Look at this for a field. He's got two men on the offside, on the edge of the boundary, one like a first, deep first slip, second slip. Tell you what, they'd be brave to bowl a bouncer now. Wide, wide again. It's down to nine now or three. Armour is just losing his line. Back in it. That's second super overs now coming. It may, you may be right. <laughs> Couple of boundaries and that's it. Mm. Have to look at your spec saver subscription. You said you could see them a long way away. What I don't understand here, and I'm, I'm trying to be serious here mm. now for a minute. Why isn't Ravi Bopara going across? If he's going to just bowl that bowl across, he has slightly now. Gone across and, well, it's just trickled out to deep, well, a deep gully on the fence. Just a single, so two balls, eight runs. Is a super over gone now. Two fours will win it, a six, and then Scamper, the two will win it. Six and a one is another super over. There's so many times. Oh, it's everything. Everything can happen. Mm, this will be huge, this delivery. Well, I'm thinking, can you as a left-hander in this situation actually try and come at Mamid Amir? Try and actually get to him on the full, because he's bowled very good Yorkers. Can you get him on the full and hit him out the park? I know it's not easy, he's bowling at what, 130 kilometres? Brilliant Yorker yet again. Are they coming back for the second? Yes, they are, and this is going to be a run out. Riley Russo with a huge dive, he thinks he's made it. Well, they had to go two because a six then wins it for them. But Michael Goff has called for this run out. So the decision is pending. Couldn't see it, we are a long way away. I think this is out. A big dive, Riley Russo. Chadwick Walden, big dive, but Riley Russo does it, he's in. What a dive, Jaunty Road style dive. Yes! A brilliant dive. It's well, Riley Russo dives in, and Chadwick Wallen also diving. But it's now down to Riley Russo to hit this out of the park. Six wins it. What you don't want is another wide, if you are a Karachi fan. A wide here, then four will get another super over. Six to win, one did. Can he be Javed Miyada? Well, let's just face facts here. Mohamed Amir has bowled, apart from the couple of wides, he's bowled a brilliant over. He has nailed his Yorkers. So, like I said, out of the international side, this is what you want from a senior player. Let's have a look what sort of field he's setting. Another man out straight behind the bowler or he's got a long off two long ons deep mid wicket and four fielders behind square has to try and get it on the full simple could we see magic here to finish the game yeah boundary doesn't cut it it has to be a maximum Amir. 
has to go airborne. He has to go big. Leg side. Does he walk across? Amir. Another terrific Yorker. Awesome. Amir's awesome over means that Karachi King go into the final in the super over. Yeah, brilliant. Think of the two reasons why this is brilliant. One, because they held their nerve. Two, because of Dean Jones and what that would mean to him and the side having lost their coach in tragic circumstances. Wazim Akram now who is acting coach and his side are straight through to their first final and that final will come your way. Yes, Dean Jones, you would have loved this and I'm sure...